everyone. And welcome to my channel, Enchanted Moonlight A. My name is Natalie and I hope you're all very, very well. It's been quite a while since I last recorded a video. Honestly, in the last six, seven weeks, my whole world has been turned upside down. Um, So I just thought I would start by just giving you a little bit of an update on what's happening and what's happened. Um, now a few of you probably know about two years ago I went and had uh, an x-ray on my hip because I started to get hip pain really quite badly um, I received a text message from my doctor's surgery um, saying that I'd got osteoarthritis in my hip and I thought yep, yeah, no, that's fine at least I know what it is, I can cope with that. Um, then the pain just all of a sudden moved. I mean I still have pain in my hip, but don't get me wrong. Um, but it started to affect my lower back. Um, so much so that every day is a struggle to get out of bed. Um, yeah, climbing stairs, walking is just absolutely horrendous. So I went back to the doctors. given a load of physio exercises to do and some pain relief basically told if it does improve in six weeks come back and see us now bear in mind I have been in pain for two years solid So, the time passed, I went back to the doctors and said, it's, it's not getting any better, if anything it's getting worse. They then sent me for um, an MRI scan, an urgent MRI scan. I was at work when I received the call. Um, and it was booked in for a week later, which was really, really good, really quick. Um, I went for the MRI scan. Oh, I don't like enclosed spaces. I really don't. Um, if you've have ever had an MRI scan, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. 
um, yeah, I think I did really well not to panic. I just wanted to be out of there. About five, four or five days later, I received another text message from my doctor's surgery. We have the results of your MRI scan. Um, we need to see you. I think then I knew that it wasn't going to be good news. So I made the appointment, went in and saw my lovely physio and she's, she's fantastic. She's really, really good. You know, she basically says to me, if I can't do the exercise that she's got me on, even if I only do one or two, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I basically went in and saw her. Uh, luckily enough for me, she explained everything. Um, so, I have scoliosis, which is basically curvature of the spine. And then as you come further down my spine, there is a loss of the bottom two vertebrae. Um, this is bulging on both sides and they are pushing on my nerves but they're not compressing them. Um, I have to be so, so careful. This is probably going to sound a bit weird, but every so often it feels like the bottom of my spine touches if that makes sense and yeah my knee buckles and I've j I have to stop no matter what I'm doing um it's the pain is excruciating um now obviously a lot of people have said anything they can do realistically no I don't think there is. I'm trying to do my exercises every single day. I am back at work. I am on restricted duties. Um, which to be honest with you is absolutely boring me to tears. I like to be active. I like to be you know, not just sat there, not just stood there. I really like to be active. So it's it's really hard for me at the moment. Um, yeah, so... It has been a real tough couple of months for me. Hence why you've had no videos, and I'm so sorry for that. I am really, really sorry for that. Um, but I thought I would see if I could film a couple today. Um, yesterday, we went to York for the day. Now when I walk I am using a stick, so just to give me a little bit of support when I'm walking, um, but yeah it was probably the most walking I've done 
in the last couple of months. Yeah, it was a bit sort of stop star. Um, but it was a good day. It really was a good day. I mean, we we stopped for lunch and we were there for about an hour or so, which helps as well. So having that little bit of a rest. Um, so I thought I would share with you what we got when we went shopping in York. It's not a very big shopping hall. Um, but yeah, I just, I thought, oh, I'm going to go treat myself. And obviously, I've got, or I should say, we've got 60 ish days to Abby's wedding. Um, and uh, Hen Weekend is at the end of this month, end of September. So I just thought, well, oh, come on. Let's go and have a little bit of a shopping spree. So let me show you what I purchased. Now we went into Primark in York in the UK. There's two Primarks in York. Um, I personally think that Primark is going down here a little bit. I didn't buy any clothing or anything in there. I bought one item and it is these. Now these are a gorgeous yellow. Um, they were only a pound. And I thought, probably out of all the nails I own, I don't have any yellow ones. So, yeah, I can't wait to use these. Obviously, I haven't got any on at the moment. Um, so these are just glue-on nails. I use the little sticky pads. Because then, when they're not sticky, you can just peel them off and replace them. But I really like them. Um, now, I love Tesco clothing. It's, it's so nice. Um, but we didn't actually get a chance to go into the big Tesco we went yesterday. Um, but we did go into Asda. And I got a couple of bits off their sale ray, rail, can't speak, um, for Abbey's Hen weekend. And the first item I picked up is this. I love this. Now it is a dress, believe it or not. A bit of thunder there. It's just so sparkly. I love it. I love it. it has got adjustable straps. Now this was in the sale. Um, it was £35 originally. I wouldn't have paid that for it. I did say now 24 when we scanned it. I think it cost me about £7. So yeah, real bargain. It's just so, so nice. Who doesn't love a bit of bling? I know I do. Yeah, I mean, when I've got it on, it does come to just above my knee. Personally, I would wear a pair of tights with it, or maybe um, 
I've got a pair of leggings um, that are like tight material and they've got flowers and things like that on so yeah I'd probably wear it with those and a nice pair of boots but I absolutely love that storm brewing we've got a little bit of lightning oh a lot of lightning going on I've got the curtains open so I can see um, what's going to open the window because it's really warm in here I think we'll leave it closed so obviously with it being Abby's end of, end of this month um, Nadine and I decided that we wanted to sort of surprise her a little bit um, where we're going um, there is a hot tub our own personal hot tub um, gorgeous pool so we actually thought we would buy ourselves some swimming costumes so this one says Bride Squad. We haven't quite decided who's going to have which one. Um, so yeah, there's that one in the black with the gold on it. These again were in the sale. I think they were only a couple of quid each which is really good and then we got this one which says Team Bride and again the black with the gold I just think it's you know something fun and then we picked up this one for Abby in the white it just says bride on it I mean it's a bit it's a bit strange because obviously Abby's getting married on Halloween so she's not getting married in white um, but I just thought, well, why not? So, yeah, she hasn't seen this show. We're going to pull them out um, when we decide that we're going to go and have a have a swim. And but I just think they, they're just a, such a fun idea, aren't they? Especially if you're, like we are, we're going away for a long weekend. Um... Oh, that was a big flash of lightning. Okay, so these were an absolute bargain. Probably not the best idea to buy them in white. But again, these are just from Asda, Georgia Asda. And they are just a pair of white skinny jeans. I do love my skinny jeans. Yeah. Now they were originally seventeen pound. Yeah, I probably would have paid that for the jeans. They would have then reduced to eight. But I got them for four pound. And they have got a little bit of stretch in them. 
we'll see the pockets. And again, then, you know, nice with a pair of boots or even trainers. It's really quite good because the, even the legs, the bottom of the legs are elasticated, which is nice. Um, Yeah, I, I just thought they were really, really nice. Um, obviously, Rob was like stood with me when I picked them up, and he went, "Why are you serious?" Yes, I love my white jeans. I've got quite a few pairs of white jeans, and they are still perfectly white. Now. did need uh, a new swimming costume obviously got the ones for Abby's Hindu and then I spotted this one now this wasn't in the sale I paid full price for this um, there was a few of them and I, I sort of picked them up I thought oh, don't like that one don't like that one don't like that one this is just black and white dots love it. Do you like the straps? And it's a shaping sculpt smooth tummy control swimsuit. It was £15. I have personally paid more than that in Tesco for a swimsuit and I get discount in Tesco um, but yeah no I just thought I like that a bit different for me normally it's just plain uh, yeah I do like that Now the last item of clothing I bought, honestly the first thing Rob said was well, you can't tumble dry them can you Natalie? Um, and yeah it's another pair of jeans with a little bit of bling on and again these are in the sale, they were £24 reduced down to £12. Um, Open the camera's picking that up. Just amazing bling on them. They are slightly wider legged than the other ones, which I don't mind because again, just a pair of boots, pair of trainers, but lots of bling. And they're in the, the light blue. Can't wait to wear these really really can't so yeah again got the pockets on the back and the front obviously the bling's all on the front okay, so I'm just going to move those over there um, because obviously No trip to York is complete without a visit to Telush. <sighs> yeah, we probably spent far too much money in Lush, but needs must um, so I'm just gonna slide the bag back over and I'll um, show you the bits we bought
So, the first one. Is this, oh it's raining, is this beautiful bath bomb. Now this is called American Cream. Now I've spent, I've smelt the perfume of American Cream and I didn't like it. I really didn't. But this is beautiful. Never seen this. Now this is called Crash Shower Jelly. Love up with fresh orange juice and lime oil for washes that take the party to the next level. Now this caught my eye because of the colour. Just look at that. It's like a luminous yellow. Let's see if I can. And the smell is beautiful. I love obviously citrusy scents. Now this will last forever because you only need just a little bit and yeah they lather up really really well the storm's getting closer and I just just fell in love with it really did but I love the shower jellies because they, like I said they do they do last they last really really well divine it leaves my skin so soft and smooth and just the smell of the orange is just amazing it really really is I love it I so love it And next we have a body spray. Now this is a limited edition one. This is called Passion. Beautiful, beautiful scent, honestly. The scent to obsess over. This luxurious fragrance is seriously creamy and dripping with sweet juicy fruit notes to get your juices flowing i just had one little spray of this of the tester and it was literally gotta have that one got to have that one it's so nice if you get a chance to purchase this because it is limited edition, please do. Now, 
Nadine, bless her little heart, bought me this one. Again, it is limited edition and it's the sticky date spray. Now I must admit, when I first really got into Lush, I didn't particularly like the sticky date smell. I don't know if they've changed it. Um, but I have literally everything they do in the sticky dates now. Already a legend in its own time, this velvety blend is practically guaranteed to make you melt in and indulge. Simply never dates. Honestly, it's it's quite hard to explain because it's like so it's vanilla-y, it's caramelly, it's it's like sticky toffee pudding. Just beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so glad that Nadine thought of me. Um, okay. So next we have this huge bath bomb. Now this is from Covered in Black Glitter. This is from their Minecraft range and this is the End Dragon bath bomb. Now inside apparently there is a, a little soap. Um, there are five to collect I want to say. But just, oh, it's really weighty. To me it smells like rose jam. Or a bit like, yeah, the black rose scented um, I think because I love rose jam so much, everything smells of rose jam. I am going to pop that there because I am covered. I'm just going to wipe that off because I don't really want to get it on anything else. it was raining when we went to York yesterday so the bag did get wet now this is the axolotl egg. and again it has got a little soap inside oh this smells of strawberries it's beautiful Too much because obviously I don't want to get the black on it. Pink and black fingers now. Uh, now then what else did we get? What else did we get? Okay. Had to have another monster octopus. Love this. I just think he's so cute. Now this sort of reminds me of the Princess Peach smell. Do you want to see him? So he's got little, little tentacles as well. 
just super super cute popping back in there oh my goodness me my hands are so sticky now and the scents are just yeah I love the monster octopus I was quite sad when I finished using him and obviously Halloween's coming up gosh I've got the Halloween range out personally I wasn't overly impressed with everything um, the only thing I did pick up was the toil and trouble shower slime <coughs> so it has got a little bat in it I'm not going to tip it too much because it is slime oh. and this is a mint scent Brew peppermint and lavender. A lathering little bat tucked in the centre. I can't smell the lavender in that, which is really unusual for me, as I don't like lavender. Um, definitely smell them in, hundred percent. So I'm going to have to make some room for this. The next item. shower jelly bring the bounce back to the shower with a fresh strawberry infusion this smells gorgeous And it is really really big so I'm gonna open the lid to show you if I can get in the lid It was, dare I say, fifty pound. You didn't hear that bit. <laughs> um, let me see if I can get it out, just so you can see it properly. Struggling, struggling. Don't want to drop it. There we go. We bring it back a bit. Just how cute is that? Gigantic. 
Haben Sie ja so. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. Okay, guys. So that is everything we purchased when we went to Lush. Um, and when we went to York. So I really hope you've all enjoyed this video. It's great to be back. It really is. Hopefully I will be able to film a few more. I'm going to go and grab a coffee before seeing whether or not I'm able to do another one. Thank you for your continued support. I can't do this without you guys, I really can't. So thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Until next time everybody, take good care. I'll see you soon. Night night.